You all know I've tested dozens of AI image generators for print-on-demand in my previous videos, but what if I told you there is a platform that combines everything we need in one place? That's exactly what design.ai is, an all-in-one design solution that includes an AI image generator with specific styles for POD, a vectorizer to convert your AI images to vector graphics, an AI editor, a background removal, an enhancer and upscaler, all under one roof. So if you are looking to streamline your POD design process, you will definitely want to stick around for this one. Once you log into design.ai, you can see on the left side their tools menu. You can always check the community tab to see reference images of what people have been generating to get an idea of the different styles. You can also open any of the generated images to see the prompt that was used as well as the style. We're going to talk about the style soon, so don't worry about that for now. If you go back to design.ai home screen and scroll down, you will see a specific section dedicated for print on demand. And this is what sets this tool apart from other AI platforms. They have all the tools you need for your POD business gathered together. So let's start with Design AI Art Generator. You can access it from the Idea to Design tab or from the AI Tools tab from the, your left menu. Once you're in, you will find a similar interface to the one you see right now. On the left side is the main window that you need to start generating your image. At the top, you can pick your style image and below is the prompt box where you need to write your so let's press on the style tab as you can see they have hundreds of styles to choose from yes not all of them work well for print on demand but based on my testing i'm going to show you which styles consistently produce the best results for different pod products as well as which prompts to use so let's go back to our main screen so the second box is the prompt box where you need to enter your prompt to generate your image so let's test this one a vector illustration of an alligator I'm leaving the, the default style as is and then you can change the aspect ratio from here let's choose the 3 by 4 and leave everything as is and press on the generate button and once you press on it some credits will be taken from your overall credits and these are the results that we get of course these are nice images but they, these are not perfect for print on demand I'm just showing you how to use the platform for now and once you have the images generated you usually see a couple of buttons below the images that work as a shortcut to use you can see there's an ai editor ai video lip sync face swap enhance and upscale so they work as a shortcut if you would like to to edit any of the generated images what we're going to do now is to change our style from the upper tab to the design re realistic v2 style and this is my first recommended style for print on demand although it's a realistic model but we're going to use a perfect prompt that would generate images for print on demand using this style so we are going to change the prompt to more of a comment design a fun t-shirt showing an alligator from a vector style and this is the key here just by asking or starting the prompt with the command design a t-shirt and adding the word vector style you would get a much better results so i press on the generate button and let's wait and the results this time they clearly show a perfect style for print on demand clear lines with clear background that can be easily removed solid vector style lines that can be perfect and adjusted for t-shirts or posters for print on demand so this is my first recommended style that you can use on design the ai the realistic v2 model by using the command design a t-shirt at the beginning with the keyword vector style so let's add in a rough font and again as you can see even the result shows perfect text survival mode is perfectly generated but this time i'm going to ask for a more of a rough font style and see how this is going to generate a different result and i'm going to add at the end on a plain background and also i'm going to add clean lines and i'm also going to add that the design is perfect for screen printing and press on the generate button and the results this time are even better it created two images with plain background that can also be easily removed and as we can see the font is 
a rough font totally different than the font that was generated before so this is a very nice design of an alligator that can be easily placed or used for print on demand as you can see the style is is perfect the background is plain and can be changed the color of the background can be changed and removed easily so let's test another prompt for the same style the design realistic v2 model this time i'm asking to design a retro themed t-shirt featuring a penguin wearing aviator goggles and scarf and i'm going to press on the generate button and again the results are really cool nice vector style designs that also can be easily separated from the background to and can be used for print on demand so let's add on a plain background to our prompt and also add the word contour and press on the generate button. These are keywords that always produce amazing results for print on demand and also the results are perfect. This one is a great design with very clean background that can be separated easily. So as you can see, there are some options that you can use below the image. You can download it, you can add, to, add variations to it. So we can press on the variation button for this design to create different variations of the same design and as you can see we get two different images very similar to the one before but with different background and different concept but with almost the same direction of the image and if you press on the download button you can download the image in jpg or png or svg format and also you can upscale it up to 4x and the svg format is a vector format so it, it even provides you access to short shortcut to vectorize the image before you can download it. and every time you press a command you can see the credits on your screen so for this time i'm going to download it as a png format and once you press on it it will be downloaded now for the second style we are going to use the flux style as you know flux is always produces great results for print on demand so i'm going to use the same prompt the same alligator prompt for with the flux style and as you can see we get two amazing results very clear vector lines the images of the alligator are perfect and again they also can be removed the background can be, be removed easily for within the platform as we're going to see later so let's try another uh, style with the another prompt with the flux style i'm going this time to use a prompt that asks for a cute kawaii style uh, and the prompt is in front of you on the screen and again i'm going to press the generate while leaving all the settings as is always using the aspect ratio of three by four and we get a very cute kawaii we get a very nice and cute kawaii style that says summer vibes as per my prompt and the background can be easily removed and this is a perfect fit for print on demand can be used for t-shirts or stickers as well and if we press on the trade variation button again we get very nice two variations of the design with very similar design style so for my third preferred style on design.ai that we can use for print on demand i'm going to show you the drip graffiti it's very special style that is not available on other platforms and for this prompt i'm going to use this one and press on the generate button and as you can see we get very unique style graffiti style images that can be definitely used for stickers on print on demand and some of them also can be used for mugs and t-shirts the the prompt itself it had some of the text were were talking about a turtle and some of the words were describing a dog that's why there is a mix that's why the, the results are mixed a little bit so let's fix the prompt and remove the word turtle and also and all, always so let's remove turtle from the prompt and keep the prompt around the dog and press on the generate button and again the result that the results that we get are very nice so let's test one more style and this time it's the tropical pop style under the illustration and i'm using this prompt for testing this style and also this is one of my preferred style on design ai it's the same alligator prompt and the graphics that we get out of this style are amazing it can really 
it will generate nice images and there is a style intensity bar that you can always play with if you would like to keep the style uh, the intensity of the style as is or increase it but you can leave it as is so i'm going to test another prompt with this style design a vintage theme t-shirt featuring a retro camper van surrounded by palm trees i'm going to leave the style intensity as is and press on the generate button and this time we get amazing results the prompt does not have any text so as you can see the results are also also print on demand friendly with plain background that can be removed easily so let's download this one in png without upscaling Now let's say we want to make some adjustments to our design. Rather than switching to another program like Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, we can use Design's AI Editor right here on the platform. So to use the AI Editor, you can press on the AI Editor, ta editor tab on the left menu, or you can simply open one of your previously generated designs and press on the AI Editor tab. So for example, for the penguin design, we can press on the AI Editor tab on number two which represents the design the second design and this will place the design automatically on the canvas inside design platform so that you can edit it easily so the design is now placed on your canvas and you can see there's a menu on the left you can local edit you can insert object and there's an ai eraser and there is a generative expand and hand repair and there is also tools at the top to add text so let's press on the text tool to add text to this design and i'm going to write flying high and change the font from this menu these are fonts that are built in inside design.ai you can choose one of the fonts you like so let's choose this font and i'm going to change the color from the upper menu with the color picker picking one of the colors of the design and you can move it up or down and stretch it using the box around the text and make it bold and align it so it's very simple tools inside the ai editor that you can use and i'm going to change it to a darker color let's try one of the dark colors of our design yeah this one looks better and let's add another text line beneath the design also using the text tool i'm going to increase the font size to 60 and place it beneath the design and my text says who said penguins penguins can't fly and again i'm going to change the color using the color picker and this time i'm going to change another font and as you can see i was able to create a complete design using the ai editor so for our second design let's do another test with the ai editor i'm going to use my one of my camping designs that i have created to place it on the ai editor go simply open your design and this time we're going to place it on the canvas using the menu below the design so press on the place on the canvas and the design will be placed automatically inside the canvas similar to what we did before and this time we are going to test some additional tools inside the ai editor so once the design is placed you can again press on the ai editor button on the left menu and this time i'm going to press on the ai eraser choose the lasso tool and select the camp text on my design and press on the generate to erase this text from my design and as you can see on the top right side a couple of images are going to be generated and four results will be generated to see which one you like and here are the four results so if we press on any of the results we can see how it looks like after the text is being removed i like this one so press on it and you can download it in any form format and upscale it at the same time so we can press on the layers tab from the above menu to see the layers of the designs that we have or the items that we have placed inside our canvas and you can hide or unhide any of the layers that are placed on your canvas so now i'm highlighting the upper layer and while it is highlighted it is highlighted you can press on the background remove button at the top menu to automatically remove the background it will take a couple of 
of seconds and the background will be removed from the design just make sure that you are on the correct layer from the upper from the upper right layers tab and as you can see the background has been removed so this is our design after we have removed the background we can also add text to the design so this time i'm going to add summer vibes as my main text change the color to match one of the design colors and here's a trick that i'm going to show it to you you can simply duplicate your text layer using the layers tab on the right and you can use the one of the layers the below layer to change its color to black to create a shadow so if we unhide the upper layer again you can see that the second layer creates some sort of a shadow because of its black color so we can select both of them together and merge them as one layer and then my second text says vibes and this time i'm going to use a script font and change the color to something dark like so and you can also press on the enhance and upscale menu on the left side to upscale your design so let's upscale it to 3x and as you can see the process is shown on the upper right side of the screen the upscaling process and once it is upscaled it will be completed and shown on your, your screen that the design is upscaled and it will be automatically downloaded in the chosen format so this is how you can upscale your design you can also press on all the layers of our design through the layers panel so we can select all the layers the text layer and the, the design and merge all the layers together and this will create one layer of our design you can see that our design is called now layer 9 merge now for the vector converter tool you can access it from the home screen of design by pressing by pressing on the vector tool or you can also access it from inside the generated images menu or from inside the ai editor so press on the vectorize image tab and this will take you also to the same editor where you can place any image you have either created on design platform or any image that you have created outside the platform so press on the click button and this time you are going to upload the image that was upscaled and downloaded from inside design i if you remember we have upscaled this this image and downloaded it in png format so i'm going to upload it to the editor here to convert it to a vector and we have our image here placed and once you have the image image placed on your artboard just press on the svg button at the top and this will convert your image to vector so choose between any of these options you can place shapes in cutouts or stack shapes on top of each other and group by color so i'm going to group them by color and press on the generate button and this will generate the image or convert the image to a vector format and as you can see the platform always shows the process while it's happening and once the task is completed it will show on our screen that the svg format is generated and once it's it's ready it will be placed on your canvas and you can simply and you can and you can press on the download button to download the svg format and we are going to test the downloaded svg format on another platform to see how it is converted and to make sure that the shapes are vectorized so i have opened the downloaded svg format inside my adobe illustrator and as you can see all the layers are grouped according to color so if we move the, the design to the left we can see that it has no background and if we choose any color and if we hide and unhide any of the right side layers we can see that they are grouped by colors they are perfectly vectorized and you can even change any of the layers to a different color and you can even remove any part easily as, as it is separated in vector shapes or you can simply group all the design ports together or change colors of any of the grouped elements so for example if we pick any color and delete it, it these parts will be deleted from the design and there you have it we have created a professional print ready designs using design with ai all in one platform we generated the unique concepts we have vectorized it for scalability we have edited it and we have removed the background and we have removed the background and enhanced the quality all from inside the same platform platform so this streamlined workflow is exactly why i'm excited about platforms that combine 
multiple tools in one place. This, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for other print-on-demand tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.